It needs to be a trust that says, God, I believe that you're good. I believe that you're sovereign. I believe in you. I have confidence in you. I believe that you will work out any situation for good. But you have to step out. And you have to follow him. And you have to follow him closely. This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. There's a man that uh, rides a bicycle on a thin wire cable and he rode this bike across the Niagara Falls. He gets to the other side and this other guy's looking on in amazement. He's marveling, wow, I cannot believe that you did that. That is an amazing thing. And so he turns to the guy and he says, well, thanks. Uh, do you think I can make it back? And the weather's getting worse and it's really turbulent. But he says, you think I can make it back on this bike, over on this thin uh, cable wire? And the guy's like, well, you made it this way. I believe you can make it back. All right, hop on. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you understood. I, I believe that you can make it back. But I'm not about to jump on there with you. Uh, he had a partial trust. He believed that this guy had talent, that this guy could do it. He could get back over the falls, but he wasn't about to, to have enough trust to step out and take an action. He had an inactive trust. Uh, God doesn't want us to have a trust that's on the sidelines. It needs to be an active trust. It needs to be a trust that steps out in obedience. It needs to be a trust that says, God, I believe that you're good. I believe that you're sovereign. I believe in you. I have confidence in you. I believe that you will work out any situation for good. But you have to step out. And you have to follow him. And you have to follow him closely. That's what he's looking for is an active trust. An active faith. So let me simply ask then, what do you need to trust God with? today what do you need to trust God with today do you need to bring a burden to God and trust him with it and trust that he will take that burden from you is it a health burden is it a financial burden do you need to trust in the next stage of your life what God is going to do and how he's going to use you then take that to him whatever it is you need to trust God and put your faith in God. You've put your place, your faith in Christ upon salvation. You believe that He could save you from the eternal wrath to come. Can you not trust Him with these small problems? I say that to myself. Can I not trust Him with these small things? We need to trust God in everything. We need to trust God always. <laughs>